imagine if I just have like a theme song for my channel? Eight ratters, yeah. eight ratters, yeah. hey, hey, yeah. eight ratters. Yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone. If you're new here, sorry for that cringy intro. I just like to change things up a bit now and then, but hey guys. Today we are finally filming my end of the year photo card collection for 2022. Wow. First video of the year. We're starting off the new year with a bang. I'm actually posting this video like on time because I feel like I always end up posting these updates like a month after I should be posting them. But guess what? I'm on top of my shit now. So uh, yeah, today we're going to do a complete run through, I guess, of my entire photo card collection, every single one of my binders, collect books, whatever I have, we'll be showing today. So yeah, if you guys didn't see my previous video, that, that was my last storing photo card video before I updated my binders. So if you want to check that out, um, oh shit, I'll like probably link it or something. I don't know, but you can check that video out to see me like update things, you know, I'm so excited. And I've been like, I don't know why, like, mentally preparing for this video because I know how long these videos take and how long this video is gonna be considering my last one was like almost two hours long so yes anyways I'll try to go as fast as I can but I just want to say a few things real quick actually so as you can see right here obviously I don't have all of my binders out in this shot but this this these are the three different types of binders that I have so we have my normal nine pocket standard big binders we have my a5 binders which has four pockets and then we have my little collects books which are one pocket so you'll already see it in the title but for the big binders i have 13 different big binders one of them being a big inclusions binder i have oh god what was the number nine i think nine a5 binders and then for the collect books oh my god i don't know why i, for, I already forgot the number but i think it's 33 collect books which i know seems very insane i will get into it once i like flip through them i do have like different like types of binder videos on my channel i have like my setting up my a5 binders i have setting up my collect books i have setting up for whatever the hell so again if you're new to this channel or if you missed those videos you can scroll through my youtube channel also all of my binder supplies every single one of my binder supplies or at least like a good majority of them are linked in my description i have a whole card website with every single like thing that's linked so yeah if you guys want to know where i got something go ahead and check that out or it's probably in like a haul video like most of my collect books are from korea so it's in a k Addy haul some of those links are affiliate links so they give me a little commish with no extra charge to you gotta say that but yeah all of my supplies are linked in there so yeah sit back relax grab a thanksgiving feast or a little snack because this is gonna definitely be a long ass video i collect a bunch of different groups by the way i'm a huge multi-fandom i also am a terrible money saver i just yeah you guys will clearly see i make very poor financial decisions i'm not rich i work a minimum wage job i just pretty much spend all my money on k-pop which is just like not smart but yeah anyways if you're new to my channel welcome hopefully you'll stick around if you're not new hello again y'all are ready for this so yeah okay anyways enough yapping i hope i said everything i wanted to say right now let's get started so I'm gonna like do um, all of my big binders first and then my A5 binders and then my collect books so I can work like big to small. So even though like I'm showing like my NCT collection right now, I do have some NCT cards in like other formats. So but anyways, first we have my Pride and Joy collection, which is Mark from NCT. He is like my ult of ults. It's very clear on my channel and every single one of my videos. But yes, I collect, well, I try to collect mostly everything from him. Obviously, if you know, you know, it's like fucking impossible to collect every single card in existence. Yeah, like maybe if I sold my entire collection, it's possible, but I just try to collect as much as I can. So like I collect all of his album photo cards. I collect a majority of his like POBs, merch items. If you're not new to his channel, you know how much I struggle with keeping up with his like merch cards and whatever. But yeah, I have multiple binders for him. This is my album photo cards slash album related non-album photo cards so like fan signs pre-order benefits stuff like that so also ignore those cards they're like dupes basically i just don't know where to put them i'm trying to like collect all of his like binder dividers by the way 
so that I can have a binder divider for like each section. So this is what I have so far. But yeah, anyways, um, I'm not going to try and talk too much. I know I say that all the time, but I just like talking. So bear with me. I obviously show the same like things over and over again if it's like old like this. So I'll probably like flip quickly through that. These are his Korean album cards plus the circle cards. And then sticker favorite. This is when I pretty much like condense everything. You can see like before I separated everything by page, but now I just try to condense everything as much as I can. Uh, we have two baddies, which takes up two whole pages. That's how many photo cards they did. Still missing a couple cards. I also split it by like units. So like one, two, sevens first and then dream. Yes, currently working on candy. And then this will be like for future dream eras. And then we have this like yearly project stuff. So like 2018, 2019, I mean not 2019, 2020, 2021 for universe. And then they didn't do one this year, thank god. <laughs> and then we have his Super M, and they're having a comeback, so I'm very excited for that. Um, we also have his Japanese releases, this is all they have, but they're having a Japanese comeback with Dream, or debut I guess, so there's always something to look forward to with NCT. And then this is his like SM Town stuff, so like SMCU Express, and then I set up for SMCU Palace, which I'll be getting soon. And these two cards were gifted to me by a lovely subscriber who made these fan-made child photo cards because they, there was no like physical anything for it. So I just put it there because it's really cute. But yes, anyways, so these are going to be all of, like I said, my fan sign and POBs. I don't collect every single one because there's a lot, but I try to collect as much as I can. So yeah, it's like all the different eras. I might split this up by like eras, you know, so that like if I get previous era cards i can like adjust it more easily i've been struggling with favorite for the longest time and i think they just dropped another round of egu cards for favorite like what the hell the era is over like can y'all stop okay by the way i did also make these fillers and printed them out so yeah you can see this one says on the way and then this one says like missing photo card and i write a little like clear post-it note for what the card is even though i still struggle with it and then we also have glitch mode which is where they get a little more crazy with these cards beatbox uh beatbox wasn't that bad actually i feel like their repack eras are like not as bad but we also have two baddies there's a lot for two baddies and then i set up for candy as well because they're getting even more crazy so yeah anyways that was my mark album stuff all right, now we have the rest of my mark cards. I still haven't made a cover for this, so it's naked right now. But these are going to be the rest of my mark like merch cards and stuff like that. You can see the binder's getting pretty full again, so I'll probably have to get a third mark binder. I feel like it's inevitable at this point. But anyways, first we have all of my hollow photo cards. I love collecting these like hollow cards. They were like standees at first and then they became postcard sets and then some of them are like Sandy's again, like I don't know, but any like hollow merch card I put on this page. So yeah, so pretty. And I set up for um, the other hollow cards that are on the way. But yeah, and then also for the people who keep up with my channel, I finally put the dividers in, so hopefully it's a little more neat. I'm thinking about like splitting it, it up by like era or like merch releases, you know, so like putting all of the glitch mode merch items together, putting all of the beatbox, like, you know, even though I just reorganized my mark collection on my second channel, that took like two hours, I might reorganize it again. So if I make a second channel video about that, look forward to that. Now we have all of like my merch related cards, you know, there's a lot of different cards and event cards here and there. So yeah, like there's some cards that don't fit into one specific category. I just try my best. But uh, yes, you can see like in the beginning there weren't that many and now for each era it just increases. Because <laughs> SM knows by now that like bitches will buy anything that has a selfie photo card with it, bitches being me. So, oh my god, wait. I just realized that I didn't put these D-Icon cards in the... See, I'll have to re-reorganize. The way I reorganize the my photo card collection so much and I still like flop. So, pff, anyways, uh, ignoring that, we have glitch mode merch items. I did finally get my pop-up merch stuff from a group where that I joined months ago, so 
I will be updating that in my next during photo card video, thankfully. And then there's still a lot of like missing things. It's either from like group order stuff or I've just been like putting it off. But it's mainly like the random like things because they always do like random like fortune packs or whatever. So yeah, I usually like wait on that, thankfully. Yeah, also a lot of these things wait on my Kaddy because I do buy a lot of these things myself and send it to my Kaddy. So yeah, I think a lot of these are going to be empty now. So we have Everlands and... A lot of these things I'm just waiting for. I guess if you want to like know what's what, you can like pause and read it. <laughs> Use that YouTube zoom feature, but yeah. It is pretty much up to date. Now we have my like photo book slash membership kits things slash like DICON stuff, which that those cards should be in here. I just for some reason completely glossed over that. So my bad. But yeah, yes, these are band-aids by the way. Yeah, also Diacon has been doing a lot of shit, which is just so annoying. <sighs> like, I get that you guys probably have some sort of, like, tea on these artists. But, like, enough with the releases, okay? Damn. Okay, now we have my season's greetings things. Um, I didn't collect, like, I wasn't a huge Mark collector, like, back then. I pretty much started this Mark journey, I guess. Like, really get into it. I don't even know when, like, probably like end of 2020 around 2020 so I didn't really like try to go back I just started to collect things moving forward so yeah like it's start this is starting from like 2020 season's greetings I think 2021 so yeah not too far back but I mean like back then there weren't that many cards so yeah I just try not to worry about like past releases too much because I'm dealing with future releases right now so now we have all of my collab stuff so like Anytime they have like a partnership or whatever and I collect the cards, then they go here. So we have like Slow Acid, Lemonillo, I think that's how you pronounce it. I have the Zozo Town cards. And then they collab with this like clothing brand called Peaches for Two Baddies era. And then all of their fucking Nature Republic cards. I honestly might stop collecting Nature Republic because like none of them are really selfie cards anyways and like they drop too often so I might stop that. Yeah, anyways, that was my Mark collection. All right, last but not least, this is my last Mark binder. This is my Mark Big Inclusions binder. I'm not that much of a big inclusions collector anymore. I just, it's just another thing to worry about and honestly, I don't really like most of them. But for Mark, I try to collect what I can, you know? So like I try to collect all of the album big inclusion stuff, like postcards mainly and like if a merch item includes a postcard with the photo card then I like keep that you know so yeah it's like very like spontaneous again I don't collect like every single thing but I try my best all right so first we have his like album postcards I think this is all of them that's from his puzzle but I just put it in there all right and then we have I guess I should talk less <laughs> like I said in the beginning of this video yeah, like, some of this stuff, like, I don't have all of his, like, random shit like this. I just mainly worry about the postcards and, like, maybe, like, sticker sheets. Just whatever I'm feeling, basically. And then we have his, like, standee, like, with the holo sets. I don't have Superhuman, because I just bought the Superhuman photo card by itself, but I might want to get that standee one day. Again, it's, like, a very, like, low prio thing. Yeah, like they brought back the standees for some reason, but like they switched to, the, to these postcards, which I like the standees better, to be honest. And then, oh, these are still part of the hall. See, like they brought back the standees, like, so weird. And then these are just like random, like, postcards I get from like merch items. Oh, these postcards are my favorite. I love the beatbox concept photos. And then these are from like Seasons Greetings photo packs, which I started doing. So I guess I'll have to look out for that in the future. Plus um, some like random Seasons Greetings big inclusions. These are from like AR tickets, except for that, that's from DICON. I don't know why I put it there. But yeah, like AR ticket sets always come with like postcards. They made them smaller for some reason. And then just some more random merch things. And these are like, Polaroids. Sometimes I just collect these like square Polaroids they do. Like these are from albums. I think most of these are from like merch stuff or like fan sign things. And then these are just like four pocket items. And then 
These are the tickets that I get from the AR ticket sets. I try to put them all together. Some more random four pocket things. And then these are from the postcard book from these eras, but they, um, by the way, love this picture. These don't fit in two pockets, so I just put them in one pocket pages since I like these postcards, so why not? Okay, that is the end of my Mark collection, officially. <laughs> the first 15 minutes is just Mark. That's how much I ulted. Okay, now we have my last NCT collection in a big binder. This is my OT7 Dream collection, which I did start in 2022, and I technically did finish right before 2022 ended. I bought all of the remaining cards, and they're just on the way, but yeah, like I didn't think I would finish it in 2022 because there's a lot of cards and like there were some circumstances, but I did end up finishing it. So yeah, this is the cover that I made. It looks a little busy, honestly, but I honestly kind of like it though. Might change it for candy, but who knows? And also that's the side. This is my old cover, by the way. <laughs> All right, so I only collect like album, Korean album photo cards. I don't think I'm gonna collect their Japanese photo cards because like, it's pretty difficult, so yeah. But this was my first ever like full group collection. Dream is like one of my old groups, so I just decided to collect full group for them. But yeah, like you can see all of these cards are on the way because they are on the way, thank God. But yeah, I honestly didn't think I'd be able to do this. Collecting like full group for any group always intimidated me, you know, but I feel like it's like all right for NCT Dream, you know, like usually, you know, for like, digipacks and stuff i buy all the digipacks anyway so i just trade for that and most of the members aren't that expensive so it's not too difficult and the photo book photo cards like since nowadays like they do a lot of fan signs and you have to buy the photo book version like there's so many photo cards everywhere so yeah thankfully this collection it wasn't too difficult despite them being pretty popular and also, I just wanted to thank everyone who helped me with this collection, everyone who like reached out to like gift me something or help me in any way. Like I couldn't have done it without y'all, so thank you so much. I'm very grateful that you guys want to see my collection prosper. Like, I don't know what I do, did to deserve y'all. But anyways, I did also buy, I think I bought Hechan and Chunla's photo book versions because like I found them for pretty cheap already. And for the photo book version, I only bought two copies, so I'm going to buy them anyways. Um, for this for the digipack and then the special these cards are going for quite expensive especially this one like thank god i pulled it but yeah i haven't done any trading recently so i'm still like missing some cards and universe is the only collection or like the only full group album i'm collecting the ot7 for because empathy is just way too difficult and resonance is also way too difficult universe was pretty easy so like i did it for universe and then these are like just, if I get like sets of photo cards, I'm just going to put them here, you know? So like I got a full set of these POBs. These are from like the season's greetings. And then I set up for their 2023 season's greetings. And then this is from the Dream a Dream photo book. These are like from the matching game card sets. So that's why there's like multiple of them. And this is from the Dream Anniversary merch. If I'm going too fast, sorry, but like, I don't want this video to be too, too long. All right, and then before I collected OT7 Dream, Geno was my dream bias. For a moment, like, Mark wasn't in Dream, so like, I mainly collected him from Dream, and then Mark came back, so yeah, but like, I pretty much just collected Mark and Geno, basically, before I switched to OT7, so yeah, I collected him for like all of the Kino cards, the yearly projects and stuff like that, so that's why I have his cards. By the way, these are dupes. I think they're kind of obvious, but obviously I'm not going to get the real thing. So yeah, these are like his like yearly project cards, SMCU. I don't think I'm going to collect him for SMCU Palace because like I have too much to worry about. And then these are just like random merch cards I have of his. And then I did split up like, because sometimes I get like random cards of the other dream members that I want to keep. So I just put them on their own page. And then for Hechan, like I get a lot of like 127 cards because he's in 127 obviously, so that's in there. Oh, we have Chemin, Shanla. It's not too much, but yeah, for Chisung, I have a lot because a lot of people graciously gifted me some of his cards, so thank you again. And then this was during like my general collecting era, so like 
I have some big inclusion of his. And then I put the candy ornaments there because I didn't know where else to put them. But yeah, that was it for my NCT big binder collections. All right, now moving on to my next alt group collection, which is 17. Another one of my alts, alt, alt of alt, alt of alt. Why was that so hard to say? Yes, for Vernon, I obviously try to collect like all of his album cards, Korean and Japanese. And I collect like, I don't know, like for him, for like non-album cards, it's like very spontaneous. I don't collect like everything like I do for Mark because like keeping up with 17 at NCT, like bruh, the two worst groups when it comes to like merch drops and stuff like that. Even though Vernon photo cards are pretty easy to get, they're pretty cheap because not a lot of people collect them, I guess. But yeah, like there's a lot. So I just collect whatever basically, mainly like selfie cards, I guess. Just yeah, like my collections honestly are just very messy. So bear with me. But anyways, we have his... um Korean album cards. Again, thank god I started to collect them earlier because nowadays collecting 17 for older things is pretty difficult because Pledis for some reason doesn't reprint. But yeah, this collection has looked the same for like a long time so I'll just like breeze through this. I think Ataka wasn't finished last time so now it's obviously finished. And then Face the Sun is complete. I see a lot of 17 collectors still struggling with Face the Sun, which is totally understandable because there's a lot of cards for Face the Sun and then they had the repack right after. So yeah, I collected four, I collect four members to 17, so bitch, it was a struggle, but I'm like pretty much done now, thank God. Then we have Sector 17. <laughs> The fact that they had so many versions, but like only two concepts, like all of the cards are like so similar. And then I typically put like Weaver's period of benefits or like any other period of benefits like separately, but I just put it here for some reason. I don't know. Again, my collection's pretty messy. Now moving on to his Japanese cards. I'm still struggling with these. Even with Vernon, I'm struggling with these. I haven't looked for it in a hot minute though, so maybe I should, but yeah. And then we have Fallen Flower. I used to just like collect all his album cards and then just like random HMV cards and POBs, usually enough to fill up a page like this era, but or and also this era. But for Dream, they had so many cards and I just, again, like since it was pretty easy, I just bought like a lot. So I guess I'll give Dream two pages because the Dream photo cards are really cute anyway. So, and then we have some like album related fan sign or like period of benefits, whatever. Again, I don't I don't collect everything because there's a lot, but I just collect what I can, like Lucky Jaws and whatnot. Pretty much like the cute ones, you know, like the ones I really want. These ones, he looks so good. For Face the Sun, there's a lot, so I just bought what I could. I think I'm done with Face the Sun though. Like I'm, I don't think I'm gonna buy any more. For Sect Sector 17, I've been putting it off, so I don't have that many, but I'll try to collect what I can. Oh, it actually, this is the Weaver's period of benefit or the Weaver's version. I don't know. Okay. And then we have like season's greetings, membership kits, and then these are just like photo book stuff, I guess. More photo book things, concert stuff. And then we have like D icon cards. See, like for Vernon, like I split it up by like eras and stuff. So I should definitely do that for Mark. And then I don't collect all of his trading card stuff. Like, I don't think I'm going to go back and collect, like, the rest of them. But, like, from now, moving forward, I'm going to try and collect... Oh, this is not from the same thing, but I don't know. Sometimes, like, if I just don't care enough, then I just put it off to the side. Because, like, I have too much to worry about. But, yes. I try to collect all of his trading card sets, you know. And then these are just, like, related Power of Love stuff. And then, uh, I think this is, oh no, this was. This is the latest set that I collected. I know they have a lot more now, but this is what I have so far, so. Yeah, anyways, that was my Vernon collection. Alrighty. By the way, I know I said I wasn't gonna talk that much. Like I said, I always say that in my videos, but I feel like I have to explain everything because I don't want to get, like, comments of confusion or whatever. I'm just that paranoid, but just wanted to disclaim that for newcomers because I feel like people who are subscribed to my channel get the gist of my personality and whatnot but anyways we have my remaining 17 uh collections for the big binders i collect three other members i collect wanu 
um, Yango and Togyeom because I'm crazy like that. And I know a lot of people suggest like the three method, but to be honest, I kind of like having the members cards like together. So yeah, before anyone else suggests that. <laughs> I get that comment a lot. Uh, for them, I only collect all of their Korean album cards. So we have Wanu. I don't know what my progress was six months ago, so I'll go a little slower. But I feel like most of these were finished, you know, like especially like Anode and stuff. I finished these ones pretty early on. And these are like their, I guess, newer albums, if you will. Again, I don't know like what the progress was back then. For Wanu, I did finish Face the Sun. Thankfully, again, a lot of people helped me with this collection. So I just wanted to give a quick shout out because I am very grateful, including the Kino cards, which were a bitch to collect, but yeah. And then we have Sector Seven Chain. For the other members, I try not to stress too much. Like, for the stickers, I wasn't going to collect them, but I pulled Wanu's set, so, like, I just included it. So the setup may vary with the member. And then these are just, like, merch-related cards that I just get for these members. I just stick them at the, in the back. Like, this card, I don't collect photo book cards for the rest of the members, but, like, this card was too cute to pass up, and it wasn't expensive so now we have d8 minghao myungo whatever you want to call him i like interchange between them oh also like i didn't collect like the clapper card for director's cut for some of them just a card i didn't want to like stress out over even though those cards aren't really like expensive usually it's just out of sight out of mind for some of these things He's also complete for Face the Sun. I pretty much have caught up with everyone's album collection because again, like Face the Sun was just one of the worst collecting eras for Seventeen, I feel like. Well, I feel like because I collect, you know, uh, four members, that's probably why. But damn, like why did they have to do an Ode Part 2 plus all the versions? Like, oh my God, the headache. Oh my goodness. Seventeen collectors, can you relate out there? Okay, and lastly, we have Togyam. The only card I'm missing from him from like the past eras is this Boys B card, which I can't really find anywhere. So I guess if you're selling it, preferably in the US, hit me up. But yeah, this card still cannot find. But yeah. I just don't understand why Pledis just doesn't reprint. Like, I feel like a lot of groups benefit from like new stands trying to collect their older albums you know like i work at a k-pop store and like a lot of people still buy like older albums from groups like bts stray kids twice like because obviously there's new stands every day so i don't understand why they're not reprinting you know like all the money's just going to resellers so pledis if you're watching yeah you know what to do oh this card i did buy recently it just didn't make it in time but technically He's complete, except for one of the Kino cards. This one, which I also cannot find. And if you guys remember, this was also quite a journey because everyone wanted this card. So I literally bought 10 extra copies of the Weaver's album and I pulled it. Thank God. If I didn't, that would be so sad. And then I ended up selling the extra sets pretty easily. So thank God again. Okay, and then we have Sector 17. I think I pulled like every single one of his cards. Like I think I maybe traded like one or two, but like I had pretty good Togem luck this time around. Usually I have pretty bad luck for him. And I did also buy their recent um, membership kits. I don't typically buy membership kits anymore, but this time around it was really cute and I wanted that mug, so I bought it, but yeah. Anyways. Okay, I'm gonna do a girl group now because I know the girl group stands out there are snoozing. We have my Twice collection. For Twice, I collect Chaeyoung, like all of her Korean cards. I was thinking about collecting Taehyun, but like they have way too many cards. So pretty much just collect Chaeyoung completely and like some other like sets here and there, which you'll see later. But yes, I know this isn't a photo card, but like it fits in here and I wanted to fill up this page. So I just put the knock knock standee in there. But yeah, I have all of Chang's Twice cards. Again, Twice was the first group I've ever like stand and collected. And then if you're new here, I just put the photo cards in like a nine pocket in the front and then the extra cards in the back because that was the best way 
in my personal opinion. I've tried other ways and it just looked too messy for my liking, so I just did it like that. I like it, honestly. It's also crazy how expensive this card has gotten. I know it's cute, but like, I got this card so easily when I first collected Chaeyoung and like, now it's like a high demand card. Like, the high demand card train needs to stop immediately. Like, who decided that? <laughs> All right, I guess it, it can't control like supply and demand or whatever. And then we have Formula of Love. I don't think this is complete in my six month update. So that's complete. And then also Between One and Two is complete as well. This was pretty easy to complete because I bought nine albums. Okay, and then the rest of the binder, it's pretty much just their pre-order benefit sets because obviously there's nine members. So like it fits in here perfectly. And there's so many of them since they do it every era. So it only fits in here. I might have to like give this its own binder honestly. This is just a random sticker sheet that I bought like years ago at KCON that I wanted to keep so I just put it there. And I think I have every set except for Twice Coaster Lane 2. I think that's the only set I'm missing. Throwback to when they did like selfie cards for these. I wish they would do it again. We have these ones. I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly actually. All right, those were all the album period benefits. And then this was the only season greetings I've ever bought for twice because I don't really collect too many seasons greetings, but I decided to get one for the previous year. And of course it was the one that Chongyang wasn't in, unfortunately. So yeah, that's why she wasn't in the set. But yeah, and then I just have like random like sets and I put all of the group cards back here. It's not just for the period benefits. It's like just any group card that I get. I know nowadays they do they do a lot of like group sets, so yeah, or group cards, I guess. I don't know why these are back here. <laughs> but okay, that was my big twice binder photo cards. Alright, I think this is the last big binder that's dedicated to like one artist. I think I have one other one, but now we move on to my stray kids binder. I know my decorations are pretty inconsistent. I always like change it up. Like I first did these that you'll notice and then I started doing like the album collages because I have way too many extra albums. I think I might do that for every binder. I just haven't had the time for it, but yeah, that's what that looks like. Alright, so for stray kids, for like all the photo cards, I pretty much collect just Hyunjin. I have most of them for Cheese Hung as well because I collected him at one point, but I kind of want to drop that collection because like I have way too many collections. Yeah, okay. So Hyunjin is like my main bias. And these are like, I wanted to fill up the nine pocket pages. So these are like extra cards that I had that I use as fillers. So that's what that is. Oh, I guess like for a satisfying thing. I don't know. I think I explained it more in my previous photo card collection videos. Yeah, if you're curious. It's also crazy to see which Hyunjin cards are like considered like rare and expensive now. Like I saw the other day that these two are apparently like super expensive. I'm like, damn, thank God I collect Hyunjin like as the eras came out. Cause like I would cry <laughs> at some of these prices that I see. Oh yeah, also, again, some of these are not like album cards really. Like, I don't think these two are like regular album cards, but just to make it a seven pocket page, again, my collection is going to be messy. It's not perfect. And this is for uh, Maxident. And then I used to collect all of Stray Kids' as, like Japanese releases, but I only collect Japanese releases for NCT and Seventeen because, again, that's just a whole nother thing to worry about. They're super expensive anyways, so... I stopped up, up until Scars. And these were the two. There was one more. I think it was for IMU. But that card was like impossible to get back then. It's definitely impossible now. So I just got these two. Uh, also, I'm glad that they stopped doing the Taiwanese press because <laughs> enough versions. Okay, and then we just get into some like other like non-album related things so, like merch items, Polaroids and stuff. Again, I don't collect like everything, but like I just collect I used to be more into Stray Kids, so I collected a lot more things, but nowadays I just try to deal with just album stuff and like some album POVs. 
So yeah, speaking of which, these are some of my, like, my album pre-order benefits and lucky draws. I collected a lot from accident for some reason. I don't know what got into me, but yeah, I definitely overbought from accident. I kind of regret that. Anyways, now we have the rest of my Stray Kids cards. So we have like some sets. These are from like the postcard sets from No Easy. I just cut them into photo card size because they're really cute. Christmas Evil. And then I started collecting OT8 from Ordinary because not like I'm going to collect OT8 for everything, but it's because, ugh, again, I just have a problem. That's like a New Year's resolution to stop overbuying albums. So I overbought albums for like Ordinary and Maxiden. So that's why I was able to complete OT8. But I need to stop doing that. It's so easy to do, but like, I just need to stop. But anyways, I set it up like this this time because it was just like the best way for me personally. So yeah, I have OT8 for Ordinary and a uh, Maxident. And then these are all like the unit cards. And then I collected OT8 for Maxident. Wait, did I say Maxident for this? If I did, I meant Ordinary. I don't know. <laughs> okay, anyways, Maxident. And then I still haven't traded for the case version because I've just been so busy. I just haven't at the time, sadly. All the face stickers and then these are like just cheese hung extra cards that i had i wanted to collect lino at one point so yeah <laughs> so yeah these are like all of my lino cards but i'm definitely not gonna like pursue more stray kids members it's just too much yeah these are like all of my cheese hung photo cards i'm like thinking of downsizing it but i haven't had the time to yet so i mean if ever if there's someone out there who wants to buy like all of these cards as a set or like as a group order you can hit me up, honestly, because I would prefer to sell all of these all together. Like, selling them separately, that's like the bane of my existence. But I guess if you're down for that, hit me up. We can maybe work something out. And then we have just like some unit cards that are like horizontal and whatnot. Yeah, group cards. And then some like more sets. I think this is like a Polaroid section, so that's why I put it all in the back. <laughs> you know what? If it works, it works. Season's greetings, and yeah. Okay, now we're gonna get into some of like my combined binders. Like these are like just, I pretty much just collect like album photo cards for these groups. So this is for girl groups, by the way, my first girl group binder. I did split up my girl group binder recently because it, it used to be just one. So I haven't made a cover for this yet, but I will. But yeah, this is for like the first half. I organized it by like, by debut date so like obviously the oldest group here is red velvet and then we have blackpink itsy and stacy i need to like label it but yes we have my red velvet collection and my bias is yeti i did since they reprinted their kinos i did manage to get these two kino cards that i've been wanting for a while so thankfully they did that see at least sm knows how to reprint cough cough pletus but yeah oh my god it's 45 minutes into filming Okay, um, I haven't got to my birthday albums yet. They are on the way though, thankfully, finally. So yeah, but I did set up for it. I try to set up for like all the collections when I could. <sighs> if some of my words seem confusing, I'm sorry. I just tend to blab a lot. But uh, these are like, they're like solo slash like unit photo cards. Um, these are the, I typically just keep my pulls, so... Yeah, that's why I don't have like an Irene individual card. I think I just pulled these two Sergi cards. And I wanted to get these specific Joy cards. And luckily I, I was able to trade for it. Because like these two are my favorite. And then since Sergi had a lot of photo cards and versions this time. Like she's going to get her own page for solo. Just to fill up the spot, I'm going to buy like another one of her photo cards from a different version. And then since I bought all five versions for the different member versions that they had. Uh, I set up the pages for this since I'm going to collect OT5 for that. Like nowadays I buy like all the member versions for things and since it's enough to collect the full group, I just collect the full group. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyways, and then we have like my extra um, red velvet cards that I just get from like pulls mainly. If anything seems confusing, like drop the questions down below and I'll try to like answer it for you guys. Now we have black pink, which we actually have updated this time. Like I think for my previous updates, there were no updates because like there was nothing going on for them but they had their comeback this year finally so yeah so we have born pink for that i 
Um, I'm in the middle of a trade for one of these cards and I haven't found a trade for the other one yet. So this is still like incomplete, but I do have all their Polaroids. And these are like non-album cards that I just randomly get here and there. So yeah, you can see like a trend here. Like I collect the album cards and then like just the random extra cards I get, I put it behind. And then since I got OT4 for the Digipacks, I collected all the Digipack cards. And then extra Polaroids that I had. Some more like non-album cards. And then I make a page for each uh, member's solo. So I have Rosé solo cards, plus like some like extra like Rosé cards that I pull. And then we have Lisa's like solo stuff. I don't collect like all of the cards. These are just like my pulls and like whatever. Just anything related to Lisa I put. And then Chisu, they announced that she's gonna have it this year. So we're finally gonna have a Chisu page. A uh, this abomination of Target group cards. And then Solo didn't have any like actual like photo card size things album wise. So I just put all of the inclusions here. Same with Rose's like Kino. I don't know why I haven't done it for Lisa. I think I'm like I'm gonna do that later. But yeah. Anyways, now we have my Etsy collection. I collect Ryujin because she is my bias. So yeah, just like her Korean album cards. I don't collect Japanese cards for any other group, by the way. Just NCT and 17 because obviously it's too much. Um, I am caught up up until Checkmate. Obviously, they just had a comeback and I haven't traded for it yet. So I did set up for it. There's a lot of cards this time because there's a lot more versions. And I decided to collect the units this time, which I usually don't collect. As you'll see, these are just ones I've like pulled along with some extra cards. And then these are just like extra Etsy cards I decided to keep. So yeah, I didn't pull a single like Checkmate Special Edition Ryujin unit, but I wasn't going to stress over it too much. But I just really liked Cheshire's, so I just decided to collect it for that. Also, <laughs> I know I said in my second channel video, which will be up before this, that I was going to buy white fillers and I did, but I only bought a hundred and it wasn't enough. So there's no fillers there, sadly. Okay, lastly, in this binder, we have Stacey J. Just love the Stacey gals. These have like heart hollow sleeves because I did it for a TikTok a really long time ago and I just thought they looked pretty, so I just kept them. I used to collect just like a row, enough for a row, because they only did like two photo cards at one point and then they kept doing more, obviously. So I pretty much just try to complete like rows, as you'll see. So like for We Need Love, it became like, a, a full page, even though this isn't We Need Love. I'm just gonna stop there. And then I wanted to collect Isa also at some point. So these are like all of my Isa cards, but I'm not gonna do that because I need to like stop, you know, at some point. And then these are just extra Stacy cards. Yes, this is my second girl group, Boinza. These are mainly like the newer groups, as you'll see. Yes, anyway, starting off, we have Billy. My bias is Shun. So yeah, obviously she wasn't in the first, their debut album. So I don't have any cards for her for that. I started with like Snowy Night, basically. Even though these aren't like album cards, my friend just sold them to me. So yeah, I don't really collect everything for Shun. Like, you know, there's like more Polaroids. I just collect like all the selfie cards and then like whatever, you know, as you'll see. I did a terrible job at collecting this album though. So I'm still like missing a card or two, but I think I'm just gonna get one more card from this album and just end it there. And then this is for their latest album. And then P.O.B.s. And these are just like extra cards that I pretty- These are just pretty much pulls and like extra stuff. All right, next up we have Ive. Um, my bias is Yujin, so I collect all of her album cards. I used to collect Wanyoung also, but like she's like impossible to collect pretty much. Like, well, not impossible like, album wise. You know what I mean? So I'm pretty much just going to focus on Yujin first. So these are like all of her cards. Um, I I did trade for these recently, so they're on the way. And this is my Wan Young page. I did end up finding her other two Afterlight cards, and they weren't as bad as I thought, so I just decided to get them. So I guess now for Wan Young, it'll be like, if I can get them, then I'll get them. You know, if it's like outrageous, then I won't. So yeah, but like her album cards, honestly, they're like, it's like, like I know this card goes for like pretty damn expensive, so thank god my friend sold me that one. But yeah, anyways, then we have like extra cards that I have of the other members. 
And I was gonna keep Wanyoung here, but since I have her other Afterlight cards on the way, I might take that out because I bought all the jewel cases and I pulled every member except for Wanyoung. So obviously I wasn't gonna find a trade for that. I ended up buying it and things are just weird now. Okay, now we have Kepler. My bias is Yujin and Hikaru. So yeah, uh, I haven't really been doing a good job with collecting <laughs> Kepler because like obviously since they're a project group, they have a lot of things coming out. So they had like Dub Blast and then Troubleshooter right after. So I'm pretty behind, but Yujin isn't too difficult to collect. So I've been, I've been like putting her off a little bit. Yeah, as you can see, this is where I stopped. I ran out of fillers. <laughs> and then Hikaru, I, collect I started collecting her a little bit later. Uh, cause after Queendom, she became like another one of my biases. But yeah, I mean, since the, again, they are a project group, like I think I might just keep collecting Hikaru, even though it's a little overwhelming. It's not too difficult. So yeah, and then these are just like extra like Kepler cards that I get. Uh, I collected, I bought all the Digipacks, so I'm gonna collect like the full group for that. Yeah. All right, and then we have Enmix. So I collect Lily and um, another collection I've been kind of doing terrible on because I got their albums pretty late and I didn't trade them yet. So pretty behind. But like Lily, again, isn't too difficult to collect, thankfully. So yeah, and then these are just like extra cards that I get. And then um, I did end up getting the full set for the K-Town POBs and then also their jewel cases. So I set it up like this. I'm just missing this Chiu. A jewel case for that page and then again just like extra cards that I get I just get like random extra cards here and there so yeah anyways now we have my La Seraphim collection I've mentioned this before but I do have some plans for La Seraphim you know what I'll give y'all a sneak peek actually since I'm just feeling very frisky right now I've been like teasing it for too long there's your teaser <laughs> So yeah, my La Seraphim collection is kind of messy right now because again, I have plans, so this will be temporary. But I did start with Fearless. Obviously, I collect Yunjin because she's my bias. And damn, like Anti-Fragile really just skyrocketed their popularity because like Fearless was a breeze. Like collecting these cards, they were so, so cheap. Like she wasn't a difficult member to collect, so I bought her cards pretty easily. But now like I, I saw this card the other day going for like $40. I was like, damn, I bought this for like $6 or something. So I really decided my decision like at a bad time kind of, but whatever. I love La Seraphim. So yeah, anyways, um, these are like my pulls from Anti-Fragile. Again, I haven't done like much trading or anything, but yeah, again, it's pretty messy because I have, I need to stop saying that. Like y'all are sick of it at this point. But yeah, anyways, and then there's no divider because like I didn't have one, but we have new jeans. Okay, so I typically, nowadays I buy like all versions of things for like groups I collect because I have a K Addy. I got one like a couple months ago and it's so easy to buy like albums. So um, yeah, like as you saw like in the previous collection, so like I collect all the versions for new jeans albums and they make collecting so easy. Like they give like the full member set for like their albums and stuff like that so like I guess I technically collect OT5 new jeans because like I buy all their album versions and the album versions come with their photo cards so it just it just happened like that so yeah this is how it's organized so far I just split it up by like member this was from their debut but I think I might want to like if you guys saw remember that like binder that I showed like a couple minutes ago I might want to put them in that since they have five members as well and like um and inevitably collecting OT5 new jeans. I feel like it'll look better laid out like that instead of just in here like this. So yeah, I did buy their recent albums, so that's also on the way. And these are just like the group cards. And yeah, this, again, I don't know why I just stick things back here. But yeah, that was my second girl group finder. God damn, I just keep talking. So I guess I'm just gonna talk. How are we so far, you guys? Pause right here, take a water break, take a little snack break if you're not already, because I know this is a long video, even though I feel like there's not too many people that's watching the entire thing. Obviously, I have the chapters, but if you're here, you a real one, so thanks. <laughs> thanks for the support. We are dialing down to the last few big binders because I have other binders as well. Oh my god, this is definitely going to be a long ass video. But we have my boy groups one binder. There's only two boy groups in here because there's their big collections. 
but we have EXO and BTS. I put them together because like they're groups that like aren't gonna have too many physical releases like compared to like other groups so I just put them together. But first we have my EXO collection. We have Kai. I believe these are like all of his like Korean album cards. I was tempted to collect his Japanese album cards at some point but again like I just need to like calm down sometimes. I remember like when I was struggling with obsession like oh my god this is like bringing back like memories y'all. Okay they are having a full group comeback this year so that is exciting. And then we have his solo cards which are my absolute favorite. He just takes like the best selfies for photo cards. So yeah I love these cards they're so pretty. And then we have Super M, which are also having a comeback as well. All these people are having comebacks all of a sudden, so. And then we just have, like, extra cards right here. So, like, for SMCU, I was going to try and collect both of his, like, Kai version. But the other card was too hard to find, so I just gave up on that. And I only bought, like, one of each version for the SMCU. So I'm only going to collect, like, his EXO version, pretty much. And then we just have, like random cards again so collect Pekhyun's uh, solo cards or his solo albums because I really like his solo music so I buy like just like some EXO solos I don't collect all of the EXO solo albums and then we also have like EXO SC we have like one empathy card and this these are this is their old season's greetings cards damn and a random nature republic set <laughs> all right now we have BTS I think I started my V collection this well not like started but like actually like complete his entire album collection and I did and it was like the right time too because like now BTS is like kind of on a hiatus sadly so I thank god I did that yes we have all of his like Korean album cards starting with these two these aren't photo cards but I just put them there and then we have his album cards I traded for like most of these and then I just bought the rest and these are the two lenses that I have I bought this one like years ago because like BTS was another group that I started collecting like years ago. They're another group that I, they're the second group I'd say after Twice that got me back into K-pop and like got me into collecting and whatever. So I've been collecting them for a long time. So like I bought this years ago and I pulled this one. I'm pretty sure like there's like older videos on my channel. Oh my God, don't watch those. It's so cringy, but anyways. <laughs> See, I keep getting off track, but we have their latest one, uh, Proof proof and then like these are for like the photo folios which I know aren't album cards technically but I just decided to just put them here so like the BTS version and then I'm planning on collecting all of his photo folio ones the solo ones and then these are just like extra cards I know I should technically put those cards here but whatever yeah like I bought their D icon thing <laughs> the last Vegas PDD Lucky Joss is, is just there but okay, and then we just have like random like BTS cards. Like I said, I started collecting BTS a long time ago. So these have been here for a while. I'm so glad that I made the decision like how long has it been? Like three years ago to collect the full set for this uh, answer set. Because like everyone wants the set now. And this is all first press, bitch. So yeah, I have the full set for that. And then we have like some other full set things. So like this is from B. Proof. This thingy. <laughs> season's greetings i'm also glad that i bought last year's season's greetings because they're not doing the one this year surprisingly i'm so surprised they didn't do one this year but yeah anyways we have like di icon sets again i took out v because like like i said i like to separate the members i collect you know that's just like a tendency of mine And all of their like group cards that I get and then like some bigger inclusions I typically like I said I don't really collect big inclusions for any other group but these are like just things I wanted to put in here so yeah like obviously these are like album related things and then just like the message cards and I also at one point wanted to collect OT7 for the wings things including the group one so I did that <laughs> and then we have young forever and this random HYYH thing toothbrush set thing oh this used to have their id pictures from their 2018 season's greetings but i took it out and i never put it back same with this so wow i didn't do a good job reorganizing and then we have their big ass photo cards that i put in these eight pocket pages and then i 
uh, this was from earlier last year. I drove to Vegas on a solo road trip to see them in concert. That was quite the experience and I did make a vlog for that. So if you want to watch that, it's a fun vlog. I'm very proud of it, even though it kind of flopped. I still liked that adventure. It was pretty fun. And so that was from that adventure. I bought like the photo card set thing. And these are like extra cards that someone gifted me. Syria. So, yeah. All right, took a little break myself. I'm honestly like feeling fly right now. Like I thought I would be a little more miserable <laughs> filming this to be honest, because this takes a long time, but I'm actually fine. Maybe it's the caffeine kicking in right now, even though it's almost 1 a.m. But anyways, this is my Enhypen kind of slash TXT. I used to put like my extra TXT cards in here, but then I moved them to a different place. And so pretty much it's just like the bigger cards that they have. If you know, you know. So yeah. Anyways, so we have my Enhypen collection. I collect three members, uh, Jay, Jake, and uh, Sungwoon. I had a brain fart for a second. Um, I pretty much just collect like Korean album cards and like some like extra J cards, but yeah. So starting off, we have J, fine ass man. Um, these are like his album cards. And then their latest album. It's still a work in progress, even though like at this point, y'all are like, what the hell? Like what's taking you so long? I'm sorry, I just been putting it in the back burner and I haven't like traded for everything yet. And again, collecting three members is not like super easy. So yeah, that's the progress so far. I did buy a couple more cards, but I'm just, I'm not quite there yet. So yeah, this is what I meant by like random cards. Like I just, I thought I was gonna collect all of his like trading card stuff, but like I've got other stuff to worry about to be honest. So I just collect what I can, you know? As much as I would love to collect more things for him, yeah, I'm dealing with too much, especially with NCT Mark and 17 Vernon. They keep me busy enough. And then I just have like this random page right here. I thought this was really cute, but it's not like photo card size. So I just stuck it there. All right. Now we have Jake. Um, as you can see, like I, in the beginning, like this is how I organized it. It's kind of weird looking. So I might not, I might change that. But anyways, now we have our Jake collection. Uh... <laughs> His manifesto collection is like the least completed because I don't trade for Jake. I, I pretty much trade for Sungwoon first because he's like the most difficult and then sometimes Jay and then like I save Jake for a little because he's like the easiest member to like purchase. So I'd rather like trade for the expensive members and then buy the cheaper ones if you know what I mean. Like I'm not gonna buy like 10 copies again. So I did buy like a lot of his photo cards though. So they are on the way. Don't worry. And then these are just like random cards here and there. I did complete his Weaver set though. And then we have Sungwoon. Um, don't mind these Japanese cards. I just didn't know where to put them and I pulled these actually. So I just put them there to fill up the space. But it's so funny seeing like his debut era and like him now, <laughs> the contrast. But um, yeah, anyways. And then, like I said, like I trade for him first. So I, that's why I have like the most Sungwoon cards. And then I did buy this card i thought i bought one more but maybe not i think i bought this one yeah so i think i'm just missing one card for sungwoon now and these are just like group cards and then just like extra cards because i bought this gugu package i don't collect it anymore but at the time i was like damn like that's a lot of stuff i'm gonna get it and once again extra cards and yeah, so um, like I said, this TXT stuff, like my main TXT cards are in different binders, but these are just like the big ass cards that don't fit in them. Cause like, you know, this was their photo cards at one point. So yeah. All right, we have the final big binder, which is a pretty recent collection. I did start the previous year. My one and only soloist like full collection actually, believe it or not which is Woods. And I fell in love with Woods this year because of his recent album. I've been so sleeping on him and I feel like a lot of people are kind of. So uh, if you have the opportunity, check out Woods because he makes amazing music. Like, oh my God, like he's like one of my favorite albums. Like musically, his discography is so damn good and he's so talented and I love him. But anyways, uh, yeah, so that's why I decided to pick him up, which might have been kind of a mistake because like he has a lot of cards. It's no joke. Like Maria, I am praying for you if you're watching this girl, like pretty much live vicariously through her. But yeah, I set this up in my previous video because like I realized I've never like set up a binder for him. So yeah, he has he gets his own little binder, but he's going to 
outgrow this, I feel like. The only set I have complete is equal because I bought this as a set, which I might do for the other albums because I feel like that's just easier in the end. But yeah, we'll see in this coming year. But we have this equal collection besides the Kino because like I'm not going to do that either. These like next album cards are pretty much just either from like album pulls or like someone gifted me a couple of Woods cards also, which I kind of feel bad because like I said, I might just buy the set of cards. So those are going to be like dupes, which I'm going to have to like maybe sell or something. So like if you're out there, I'm not selling your gift. I'll switch it out for the one that I bought <laughs> and sell it. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, uh, I did buy his Kino too. So that's a Kino card technically. And then I set up the pages for it just so I have like an idea of like how I'm going to set things up if I end up collecting all of his album cards. But we'll see. Same thing with sets. It's just like gift cards and like uh, gift cards. You mean, you know what I mean? Like cards that were gifted and like album pulls. But yeah, you guys can see this is pretty intimidating, you know? So that's why I'm a little hesitant to collect his cards because uh it's a lot and i have a lot on my plate already so it's like is it worth it for colorful trauma though like this was the era i started to get into him and i went a little cray cray and i bought a lot of his albums so i pulled a lot of his cards just like he's a soloist so i just don't understand why there's so many damn cards like woods what you doing man and then these are the two digipack cards that i pulled because i bought two copies and i'm not gonna collect his digipack set. It's pretty much his Kinos and digipacks that are just like probably the most difficult so I'm not even gonna bother. But yeah. Anyways, and then this is what the result of my colorful trauma like, mass buy which I'm never gonna do with it again. Like I need to stop doing that. It's seriously an issue. Um, but these are just like extra non-album cards plus like merch from his anniversary. Super cute, but yeah. All right, everyone. Now we've zoomed in a little and we're gonna get into my A5 binders. I have nine. Um, I pretty much want wanted to transition to these composition notebook style A5 binders because they are a lot thicker and sturdier than the ones that I like started off with, but I accidentally bought the wrong size or the wrong thickness when I bought from Luca Lab, so. And they're kind of expensive, so I don't know if I'm gonna like completely do that. But anyways, this is my Subin TXT collection, uh, very evidently. So um, these are just all of, like my Subin cards and then like my extra TXT cards. I am putting that, that's in a different thing. But I decided to put these collections in an A5 binder because I don't know, I just did. <laughs> Like I just, I was, I wanted A5 binders, so I was like, you know what, this is a new collection, I'm gonna stick this in here, so that's just how it happened. But anyways, we have his debut stuff, and then this is where we start to get into like, um, the normal size cards. I mean, thankfully these pocket pages are big enough to fit these big ass cards. Not these ones though, RIP. Okay, and then we get into the normal size cards, thankfully. Uh, again, like this is the card that everyone like foams at the mouth for. Let's calm down, people. Same with this card, but it is very cute. And then the recent era, they are having a comeback, which I'm so excited for. I need to set up for that, by the way. And then I kind of collected some of his, his Japanese cards. Like, it was just these ones, pretty much. And I try to collect, like, some, like, Subin non-album things here and there. Yeah, like Lucky Draws and stuff. Just whatever. Whatever I wanted to... I haven't bought any like TXT stuff like lately though because like I've been busy obviously but yeah and then like I just put Yunjun's here because I pulled it and he's my second bias just to fill it up and we just have like some random like big inclusion things but yeah that was my Subin collection. The next idol I completely like collect for album stuff in an A5 binder is Karina of Espa or Karina however you want to say it. Uh, this was like the A5 binder I pretty much like started out with, you know? Actually, I don't know if I should say this, it sounds so cocky, but like, I I, don't, I haven't seen anyone like before use this as an A5 binder, but I feel like now this is like a common type of A5 binder, like, it's kind of insane, but yeah, these are like the Amazon like diary ones. Also, you can see like, I pulled this photo card and terribly damaged, like, I don't know what the hell happened here, but... I just stuck it on the cover. Okay, anyways, um, now we have her album card stuff. There's not even that many because they they only have two physical releases, which is so sad, honestly. Like, I hope they have a comeback soon, honestly. And then, like, the SMCU stuff as well. I'm just going to collect her one Espa version. 
and then I tried there was like a moment in time where I wanted to collect a bunch of like Karina things but like they started to get a little too much so I was like okay I need to like back the fuck up but I try to collect like all of her like hollow card stuff like I do with Mark so there's that and these are just like album related things so like deluxe box POBs whatnot and then we have like some merch cards I hollow sleeve the merch cards by the way I don't know just a little thing that I decided to do and these are just like random like sticker sheets stuff sheets what like collab things that they did because they were like ambassadors for Clio so yeah that's my Karina collection I guess I should showcase this now this used to be my twice a5 binder but I moved them to a different a5 binder so I decided to make this like my Karina like big inclusions a5 binder because it used to be in the other one but it got too like full so I just put them in here so yeah, it's pretty much just like the standees that come with the hollow things again I'm not usually like a big inclusions collector but sometimes it's just like it's just spontaneous, sporadic, if you will. So yeah, like AR ticket sets and whatnot. And since I like have a ton of different binders and stuff, like might as well, I guess. I like to kind of think, keep things consistent, you know? So like if like Karina's in an A5 binder, I want like Espa stuff to be in A5 binders. I'm just weird. All right, so for this A5 binder, this used to be my 17 A5 binder, but I recently turned this into a Chechan A5 binder, Chechan of DKZ, because I recently started to kind of collect him. He is pretty difficult to collect because uh, obviously like he's like super popular from Semantic Error and like there's not a huge DKZ community collecting wise, so, but um, I try to collect what I can basically. This is empty because I have an extra card on the way for that. But uh, I pretty much just collect his like newer album cards. Like obviously they have a lot of older ones, but you know, they're pretty hard to get. So yeah, fun story. I bought this card along with some other POBs from someone internationally and I paid for track shipping and stuff and they gave me a tracking number, but like that shit got lost in the mail. I bought that back in May and the tracking is just gone at this point. Like I've never gotten that package. So I just bought this like on my own again. But yeah, that was from Mom, and then we have their latest comeback, Pum. I did buy like all the photo cards for this, so except for the platform version, but yeah. And then I just have like just random like POBs here and there. So like, these are like album POBs. I just buy what I can, honestly. I used to like panic buy like DKZ like albums and stuff because like Chechen, like I said, is kind of hard to collect. But his album cards, honestly, are pretty easy to buy nowadays. I feel like the hype has kind of like calmed down a bit, so yeah and then we just have like i i try to buy like some like merch things for him as well because like i just collect what i can basically since like i said he is pretty difficult to collect and then we have like semantic error merch i also put soham in here because like yeah i have nowhere else to put him maybe he should get his own collect book even though i'm not gonna really like collect him anymore i feel like i should have shown this with my karina stuff whoops my bad but this is the composition book that I bought the wrong thickness of, so I just made this my Espa like extra photo card A5 binder just to match with the Karina A5 binder size. So yes, uh, I separated it by like members. These are pretty much just like pulls because I only collect Karina and like I like Espa as a group, so um, I just like keep what I can and whatnot. Like I said, I just I just buy random cards here and there. It's a pretty bad habit. You know financially <laughs> but yeah we have some like random ning ning cards it's also like if i can't trade the card i just like keep it pretty much and then we have giselle cards so yeah like the things that came in sets as well like sticker sheets and whatnot yeah Okay, another composition notebook that I have is for twice. So this is like, um, oh my god, you guys are gonna like yell at me and be like, why do you have different things for things? You should just like keep it all in one binder and that's it. But you know what? I just like to torture myself like that and just confuse the hell out of everyone. Fuck it, you know, we only live once. YOLO. But this is like just like album cards pretty much and like OT9 sets that I have. So yeah, like a long time ago, I collected like OT9 for twice the gram since I really liked the set and I've kept it ever since. Same with this Polaroid set. 
I just never let go of it. And anyway, these are just like extra like album cards pretty much that I decided to keep because like I said, Twice is like my alt girl group, I'd say. And I just can't let go of these cards, you know? I just can't. I love Twice, so might as well keep what I can. I don't know why I'm like yeehawing it right now. But yeah, and then like this was like my Taehyun collection. I started to collect her cards from Taste of Love moving forward. But like Twice cards are pretty easy to collect, you know? Like everyone knows that since they always include like a bajillion photo cards. So it wasn't too difficult to do. And then for Between 1 and 2, I was going to end up buying 9 albums anyway. So I decided to collect the OT9 for this. I don't know if it's going to be like this from now on. But if it, if it was as easy as Between 1 and 2, then like maybe, you know? But yeah, like the iconic plushie set. And then we have this other set for archive version. And then uh, the Pathfinder. Cryptography. And then these are the like message cards. Plus two random target cards that I ended up keeping, but yeah. All right, and then we have this A5 binder. This has my NCT like sets, you know, it's not, it's pretty much just one, two, seven, you know, cause like Dream has its own binder, but just like things I get in sets, you know, so like D icon or whatever, you'll see. But yeah, like I collected, I mean, I bought all the digit packs for two baddies. So I'm going to collect the whole thing. I know you guys are going to be like, why is Hedgehog in here when like in the other one he wasn't, but this is a part of a set. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I just like yelled for a second. <laughs> I can see like the Nemo sets and like D icon and stuff. Also, like I took Doyoung out because I put him in his like collect book, which you'll see. But yeah, sometimes I'm just too lazy to fix some things, you know. This was just honestly like such a random find on Amazon, but I was like, you know what? This can be cute and resourceful. So this is my Pokemon uh, A5 binder. It's technically a Pokemon card, you know, binder, but like photo cards, whatever. Coincidentally enough, I have a Pokemon Band-Aid and it has Eevee on it, cute. <laughs> this has my 17 remaining cards, you know, so like extra cards, like sets, like the NCT binder pretty much. But just like pretty much just like extra cards i guess so yeah like this is a thick as uh, a5 binder so, though so it fits a lot so it is kind of perfect for 17. but yeah like i collected ot13 for semicolon we just have like other sets of things you know photo books seasons greetings memberships whatnot this binder is also kind of messy because like i took out some cards here and there so don't mind the gaps like this <laughs> I might want to do that thing where like it's like double-sided so it's like a whole spread. I don't typically do that with my collections but like maybe for like stuff like this. And then we have like the unit cards for like going 17. Some other like unit cards and again like just like random cards that I have. It's not very neat. <laughs> but this binder, to be honest, is pretty hard to adjust, you know? Like, as you can see, it doesn't lay flat, so... And the pages are kind of wonky. But it, it, it does the job. Alright, and then, like, these... Like, this binder came with these pages, so I just, like, leave them in there. Oh, that was loud. All right, lastly, we have this A5 binder. Does anyone remember this A5 binder? I decided it was perfect for Unbi because like I collected her for Eyes 1 and like obviously Eyes 1 like D-worded and I don't collect her solo stuff really. So I just decided to keep it in here. It's kind of like a retired collection, if you will. So yeah, this is my Unbi collection that I had. Um, I used to collect like all of her Eyes 1 cards and then at one point I just like kind of gave up and I just collected enough to fill up pages. Because this collection used to be in a nine pocket page binder. 
but yeah so i don't have like every single card and then we just have like some solo stuff and then this is the eyes one like pov set that came with one wheeler and just like extra eyes one cards so yeah like since this binder like you know has a limit to it i feel like it was perfect for this collection Okay, actually, I don't think I've ever showed this on my channel. I think I was about to show it in my previous collection video, but I forgot to. This is so, like, random, but when I was in, like, uh, LA with, you know, Randy, Thomas, and Mav, we went to the Espa concert, we went to the Sanrio store, I saw this and it was pretty cheap and I thought it was cute. This is technically, I think, like a stamp or, like, a coin book thing, but I decided to put, like, some circle cards in here because I thought it would be cute, you know? Like, even though I'm not a fan of circle cards, and not all of my circle cards are in here technically, but I just put like some of them in here, you know? But yeah, the thing is though, like it opens from the middle, so trying to put a circle card in here is kind of a bitch. I have to like rip apart the pages, but yeah, I just put some like random circle cards in here. Like it's not a serious collection or anything, I just thought it would be fun to have. So yeah, I just thought I'd show that, you know, since I've never showed it before. All right, now we are down to our final stage of this collection video which are my collect books now i feel like i need to say a little disclaimer because i feel like especially for like first time viewers i have 33 collect books and i know that is like the most insane unnecessarily excessive amounts like i know some of y'all are gonna be like why don't you just put these in an a5 binder or like a normal binder if you have so many collect books like what's the point the thing is though it's just, it was just mainly for fun you know like there was a point in my life where I didn't like collect books and then I started to like them as I saw them more and more. So I wanted some collect books, but like, I was like, what am I gonna use these for, you know? So I did used to have a miscellaneous like binder and then it turned into an A5 binder. And I was like, you know what? What if I just split up my miscellaneous binder into like collect books, you know, like random collections that I have. Cause like, I feel like, I felt like in a binder, a miscellaneous binder, just like, it wasn't very organized in my opinion. So like, I thought it would be cute to like, you know, put them into collect books and like, it's just an excuse for me to buy collect books, you know? And I feel like collect books are a collection in itself. I'm a huge, like I said, like, as I mentioned before, I'm a terrible financial decision maker and I love collecting things, not even just photo cards or albums. Like I collect a lot of different things. I'm just a collector like that. I love physical collecting things, you know? So I feel like collecting collect books is like a collection in itself. So I just buy a collect book sometimes because I think they're cute. So yeah, and I just stick photo cards in them. So yes, I do have 33 and I do have a couple more <laughs> on the way too. I know it's like crazy, but you know what? I am free and happy. So yeah, like I said, I did make like videos of me setting up most of them. So they're like on my channel. But anyways, with that disclaimer out of the way, let's get into it because it's going to be crazy. I'll explain each one as well. So this first one is like I said, it's like the A5 binder, but a collect book version. And this one has like the rest of my TXT cards in it. So this collect book's gonna be pre pretty easy to flip through because uh, it's like a binder, but like for the other ones, I have to like hold it and my hands are shaky. So I apologize in advance for like shaky footage, but uh, I don't think I have like my collect books linked down below. So sorry about that, but I'll, I'll like say it, but this one is from Luca Lab and I got these pages from Daiso Korea, their online store. But yeah, this is like, um, just, you know, like, random TXT cards I pick up. Yeonjun is my second bias, so, like, I have, like, the most of his cards. Can I- because I try to collect, like, some of his cards as well. But yeah, like, it's not, like, serious collections. Oh, I should mention this, too. Like, none of these collect book collections are, like, serious collections, you know? Like, I'm not collecting all of the albums, all of the photo cards, like I do with, like, my other, like, collections. These are just, like- these are, oh my god, I forgot to say this. These are for like random, like spontaneous, miscellaneous collections. Like I get, you know, like albums for like groups that I like listen to casually and like I wanted their album or something. Or like I get free cards from like people who graciously gift it to me. Or like I just get cards from a bunch of different places, you know. Just like very random, like small collections. Or like for even for collections where like I just collect the albums for, you'll see some of those so these are just like not full-on collections so like if you see like a luna card for example like don't get too excited i'm not collecting like everything luna it's just cards for groups that i like but i'm not like collecting i just like casually listen to and i just have the cards for so yeah i feel like i i need to say that as well because i feel like some people might be like you're gonna collect this group and i'm like whoa chill <laughs> or just like random stuff like this you know 
again, it's just excuses for me to get like collect books. I know it's so confusing, but I have my own system, okay? Like a lot happens in my brain, you know? So I promise you guys I'm okay. <laughs> I'm not like mentally unstable with all these fucking like binders and stuff. Like, oh my God. I, I feel like I need to like explain and like apologize for everything or like put a disclaimer because like I know nowadays in this day and age people are just so brutally like upfront and a lot of people don't think before they speak nowadays like people judge everything it's like that I'm just that type of person I'm very paranoid and I overthink a lot and I don't want to like cause beef with anyone or anything like that I don't like negativity either so yeah, I just I, if I talk too much and I explain things like that, that's why. Wow, this is like a therapy session, but anyways, that was my TXT composition collect book. All right, and then I'm just gonna grab whatever. This is in no particular order, but my sister got me this collect book from Korea. Like she went on like Sanrio or like Hello Kitty Island, which like, what the hell, TFTI, but she got this for me. So yeah, this has my current Petco photo cards because I bought his recent album since I really, really liked it. And this didn't fit in my soloist collect book because uh, it ran out of space. So there were a lot of cards and I just stuck them in here. I don't know. I think he's enlisting this year, actually. So I don't know if I'm going to have any other like photo cards of him. But yeah, these are just the cards that I pulled from his solo album since I really liked it. Right. See, and then we have this. This is a collect book for Chungan because I used to collect him and then I sold off like most of his cards. And these are the ones I decided to keep. Because I just love Seventeen. Seventeen is my old group, or one of my old groups, so if I want to keep some Seventeen cards, then let me be, okay? Like, yeah. Sometimes I just want to have fun and just keep some cards. Not everything has to be like a serious collection, you know? You know the vibes, you know? Collect books are fun, so yeah. These are just like random cards I have that I keeping... All right, this is a like Stray Kids, I guess like extra like photo cards that I decided to keep because like I did have an A5 binder with like extra Stray Kids cards, but I realized that I don't need to like, you know, cling on to them. So I'm planning on selling those cards. I just forgot to. So stay tuned for that on my trade and sell Instagram, I guess. But these are just cards I couldn't like let go of. As you can tell, I'm very like bad attachment issues. I just love keeping cards and whatnot, even though like I should sell them, you know, I need the money, you know, I don't need to have these cards. I don't need to have any of this, you know, like K-pop is like a disease, I swear, but sometimes I just can't let go, okay? <laughs> All right, this one, this is a really cute Pom Pom Perrin collect book, and oh, most of these, oh, I keep forgetting to explain, uh, the Care Bear ones are from Daiso Korea Online, or like in Korea, I guess. And, um, and the majority of these are from k for you, so yeah. Um, I really like this type of collect book though, because like these pages are really flat and smooth and like not like bad. I love these pages. I wish all collect books had these type of pages. Like look at how flat these pages are, like how? It's amazing, but this is just like another miscellaneous like boy group thing. So like Johan, you saw like Chanu. Um, I used to collect Astro like back in the day. Same with X1, but we know what happened. <laughs> and then we have like AB6 cards. These cards are really cute. We have some SF9. And yeah. All right. And then uh, if you guys remember, I used to collect ATs. Um, I don't really, I don't like collect them anymore, but like sometimes I just buy some of their stuff. Like I bought their Digipack, a Mingi one for my friend from their recent comeback. And like they had a comeback like just now ba basically. And I bought the limited version because Minky and ACs still have like a soft spot in my heart, you know? I just can't resist sometimes, so. It might go back up to like a casual collection, like albums only, you know, and like maybe trade for some Mingi. This is my Mingi A5 binder. I pretty much uh, kept all of my Mingi cards and albums. I'm just like stopping like a full collection, you know? I feel like ATs has also kind of gone off the rails in terms of collecting. Like I think they're previous era had like almost a hundred POVs like on fan sign card. The hell? That should be illegal, honestly. So yeah, I, I pretty much escaped ATs's reigns <laughs> before it got too bad. But yeah, like also I can't believe they had three comebacks this year. That's kind of crazy. But yeah, I really still do like their music and stuff. Like this is from the Digipack, like I said, because my friend had a group order and I just bought 
the albums from her. I might take out these group cards because like this collect list getting full and I'm probably gonna get more Mingi cards anyways. And these are from their, I think their first Japanese album, second, I don't know. But like I had these from a while ago and I just stuck them in there. Right, and then we have these collect books. This one is also from Daiso, like I said. The Care Bear ones are from Daiso and I love these collect books. I wish all of my collect, collect books were like this. It has like a little like pouch, not pouch, clasp, I guess. And like, I just love these ones. They're like actual binders, you know, you can like take out or put in as many pages as you need. You don't need to like rearrange the whole thing. I wish all collect books were like this, but this one has my Toyon collection. If you guys remember, he was in a different collect book, but uh, I recently moved Chechan out of this one. So I just put Toyon in here because I feel like this collection might grow a bit more. It's like another like random spontaneous collection, you know, like it's pretty much also like if I pull the card, I'm just going to keep it, you know, I'm not like actively collecting, but if I pull it, I'm keeping it. And I pulled a lot of Toyon cards for two baddies, as you'll see, like from like group orders and like albums and stuff like I pulled. Oh, I traded that with my coworker, but I pulled like pretty much all of these cards, which is kind of insane. So yeah. I'm trying to keep this like mainly selfie cards, but there's some like concept cards as you'll see. Yeah, I mean, if I start to run out of room, I'll take out the non-selfie cards. But yeah. Okay, another one of these type of collect books, we have my Felix collection of, cause Felix has definitely, it's so weird. Like he's like, he's always like been one of like my biases, but like for some reason I didn't really pursue his collection. I mean, he is pretty difficult to collect, but especially after their concert th the past year, I was like, you know what? He's my second bias. So I tried to collect as like many cards as I can. I'm not going to like completely collect him, but like, this is just what I have, you know, I'll, pro I'll probably collect him like from now on, even though I might collect OT8 from now on again, but I'm trying to stop overbuying, remember? So yeah, but anyways, uh, this is getting really full, so I might have to move this to an A5 binder. I have a lot of extra A5 binders anyways, so that might be the best choice. But it's because I bought a lot of, like, Maxid and stuff. Like, I bought a lot of Hyunjin and Felix. Like I said, like, I definitely overbought for Maxid and Era. I just couldn't resist, so that was definitely my bad. Maybe I should make a video, like, on my second channel of, like, things I regretted. <laughs> Things I regretted buying in 2022, like, that should be a new thing. I think I saw that thing on Twitter, on, not Twitter, TikTok, actually. I might do that K-pop version. If you guys want to see that, let me know, because I definitely have some, like, regrets, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, nothing towards Felix, obviously. It's just, like, my poor financial de decisions again. But, like, look at these POBs, though. Like, they're really cute. But, like, it's because, like, I had to claim a lot of these POBs before the previews came out, you know? So, obviously, I didn't know what they looked like. But like there are some I definitely don't regret. Like the 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 JYP shop ones. Uh it was this one. Like this card goes for hella expensive. So I'm glad I was able to claim it. Alright, we need to kind of speed through these. This video is getting long, but this is like my extra ATs cards that didn't fit at that Mingi collect book. So like these are just random cards that I have. Like pulls or whatever. Like I said, I get like extra cards here and there. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, we have another miscellaneous boy group collect book. You'll see a lot of like miscellaneous boy group, girl group type of collect books. So we have also some of like my older retired collections that like I just couldn't let go of. So like Pentagon, I collected them like years ago, if you guys remember that era. Wusok still has a place in my heart, like I said. So that's why I kept it. Some of these pages are kind of wrinkly, so my bad. I used to collect Treasure as well. And then I bought like their previous, previous album. I really liked it. And then these are just like album pulls and stuff, you know, extra quads. And we have some extra like boy group stuff. We have like Gravity in there randomly. I thought this Tempest card was cute. Like Icon. Just very random miscellaneous cards that I get. All right, who remembers? Let's do a little callback because I said stay tuned for the BTS individual endeavors. Here it is. So um, I decided to put like their individual endeavors in here kind of, I guess. So like solo albums and stuff like that. So we have like the photo folio for Jungkook. We have like Jack in the Box. I did buy his vinyl. So I think I left this, yeah, I left the space for it there because it comes with a photo card. And then Jungkook, I'm trying to get his third photo card. So I left that empty. We have RM's photo folio. Jin's the astronaut. 
I'm trying to get his other two cards as well. Soundwave, uh, Lucky Draw. I need to stop doing this, putting stickers in here, it just takes up space. And then I didn't unbox Indigo yet, but that's gonna go in there and like other photo folios as they come out. Another retired collection that I just wanted to keep some of the cards for, my Chaehyun photo cards in this little Hello Kitty. Oh yeah, like I said, like most of these are still from K-Town for you, the collect books. Yeah, like how can I let go of this photo card? Like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Captain America. Okay, this is the last NCT collect book, right? Oh wait, no, never mind. There's, <laughs> I think there's one other one, but this is for like, uh, like not sets, so like extra cards, you know, that I like pull and stuff. So you'll see, it's like very random, you know, like pulls from two baddies and stuff that I decided to keep. It's mainly just like one, two, seven again because, um, like Dream has their own binder, you know. And um, I, I think I'm gonna, I might have to, oh, ooh, I can make a Wavy collect book since I did buy Phantom, obviously. Might need to do that. Oh, so yeah, like Chao, this Xiaojun card that I got from my friend. I'll have to go in there and stuff. I didn't even think about that. But yeah, just like extra cards. Some of these were like gifts too, so I have to keep them. Obviously, I'm not gonna get rid of gift. All right, and then um, this is my like pretty much just Monster X extra cards because like Monster X cards are like notoriously big and this collect book is luckily like bigger than a typical one so no photo card fits in here perfectly so I just did that. Yeah we have like some Monster X cards here like I really loved Shape of Love era. Love is like so good so I just bought like two albums <laughs> and then like a lot of these cards were actually gifted by my friend who's like a Monster X collector. She had like a lot of extra cards so she graciously gifted it to me. Thank you so much, girl. Appreciate ya. But yeah, like, I'm not, like, a Monster X collector. Like I said, like, none of these are, like, very serious collections. Oh, P1 are Harmony cards right here because these ones are, like, big for some reason. But yeah. I mean, I get that, like, it's iconic that their photo cards are this big, but, like, for this purpose, it's a tad bit peculiar, I must say. Okay. I think we're like halfway through the collect books. <laughs> oh my god, now that I'm looking at thinking about this, like, ugh, the comments I'm gonna get. Oh my god, but we have VVs because I recently started to buy some VVs albums. Uh, I had to put it in this collect book because, like, their albums come with a lot of cards, which I'm definitely not complaining about, but, like, how perfect is this? <laughs> like, isn't that so funny? Yeah, we have Beam of Prism. These are literally just album cards, like how crazy is that? And, and I think like the POVs actually from K-Town for you. But like, so many cards. And then we get into uh, Summer Vibe. Oh my god, it's so hard to flip through this. Okay, um, obviously I had to put Mr. Tiger Horanghe himself in a Tiger collect book, like how fitting is that? So Hoshi has also climbed up my bias list, but again, I'm not going to collect a fifth member. Like I used to collect six members of 17, like that was actually crazy. But since he's climbed up my bias list, I, it's like another thing where it's like, if I pull this card and I really like it, I'm going to keep it. Like this card, for example, this iconic tear wipe card, like definitely not letting that go. I regret letting go of my Chang'an phone selfie card. I literally pulled it and I traded it. Bro, that card is like such a high demand card now. And like, it was a cute card, but I was like, you know what? I need to like let go of cards. But now that was a card that I regret letting go of. That's another regret of 2022. Like I seriously need to make that video. <laughs> like things I regret. Yeah, I also pulled a lot of like Hoshi cards for Sector 17 and I held like those group orders. So I definitely got a lot of cards from that. Okay, this one is my A-Pink, since A-Pink was a group that I like. It's also a lot of like nostalgic things, you know, because like obviously I'm Korean, I've listened to K-pop like my entire life. So like A-Pink was one of those groups. So I bought like a couple of their albums and like I bought the Chobom albums because um, that song was so good and I love the concept. Like, look at this, Twinum. What's that like one, those pair of twins on TikTok that like go to Ross? 
the I forgot how how their song goes like, but it's so funny. The Ross Ross I forgot how it goes at the Ross. <laughs> but yeah, and then like just some more A Pink stuff. Is this even the last NCT? I don't know. But we have my Songchan collection, which is very sad because obviously Songchan is not in a unit yet. Like, I just feel bad for like the newer NCT boys who like barely do anything. <laughs> They like come out once a year, but this is what I have for him so far. I might collect some of his Kino cards actually, but like, I don't know. They, I feel like they might do something with him soon, so I'm like holding back a bit. But I'm gonna collect like his SMCU card for the... Because they, they made a Song Taro version, so I'm gonna get his card for that. And I think that's it. I'm not gonna get like any more like Palace group versions or anything. Like I did for SMCU Express because it was pretty easy and like... I wanted to collect something for Song Chan, but yeah. Okay, this I made a dedicated P1 Harmony um, collect book because uh, I'm like getting more into them. And uh, for their latest comeback, I bought a full set of M Wave signed albums. I think that's how I'm gonna collect P1 Harmony albums. Like, if it's on M Wave signed, I'm gonna get it. So yeah, like, might as well, you know, might as well get it signed. So yeah, like, I also, I also bought their uh, Do It Like This, uh, the English version, so those are, like, cards from that. But yeah, and then this is from my M-Wave signed copy from, like, their previous era for Doom to Doom. And then this is from their latest era. I still haven't got to my M-Wave albums yet, obviously, so I'm, like, waiting on those. But yeah, now they have their own collect book, because, like, why not? Alright, this is another miscellaneous girl group um, collect book. Again, these are, I think, all the ones I've shown so far are still from, like, either Daiso Korea or K-Town for you, but these are just more random cl collections like EXID, love EXID's music, we have some, like, G-Idol cards that I've gotten. These are, like, POBs, I think. We have some Brave Girls, the Got The Beat stickers, I just put them in there, some Mar Mar Maru. Some more G Idol or Giddle, if you will. Got some Giddle cards. Oh my god, the pages are like reflecting. <laughs> See, like, I don't get why they get so wrinkly, you know? Probably because they're PVC, but like, the other ones were PVC probably. Like, why are they so flat? Okay, this is like another one of those bigger sized collect books from Daiso. And these, these, why is they like that? These, this has my like girl group soloists, you know. I might have to have a second collect book for this though, because like this is pretty full already. We have, we have like Hyorin, Vocal Queen, Performance Queen, Love Her. We have Ayu, some Alexa. And yeah, like these are just pretty much like so or or like soloist work. Like I know Yu Jung isn't a soloist, you know, like she's in Wiki Miki, but like she's like she has like this is her solo album, you know. That's what I also mean. Oh my, this iconic Somi card that I pulled. Ugh, this needs to be the cover. I don't know why I didn't change it, but yeah, so iconic. And then we have like Hush Rush and some other cards. This set is so cute from Yudi. Also, these Hush Rush cards are really pretty. The concept was to die for. Okay, this is my Mingyu collect book because like he was another member I used to collect, but like I wanted to keep a lot of his cards because this man is foin as hell. So yeah, again, attachment issues. Um, so like a lot of his like older cards and stuff. I feel like you've seen this before, like because like I said, I used to collect six members, so like. Y'all have seen this, but I guess you guys have never really seen this binder, maybe? I mean, I did set up for it, actually. I need to, like, take a break from talking. Oh my god, we're approaching our second hour. I was gonna, like, try and, like, make this only two hours of filming, but... Uh-oh. I just have too many damn collect books. What is wrong with me? This is my The Boys collect book. This literally only has one album because like their recent album came up with so many photo cards and yeah, I feel like I might just like, this just might be it for my The Boys collection because like I really did like their previous album. So that's why I bought it. And also the like concept was really cute. I need to like, that's another resolution to like stop casually buying a lot of albums because like after my setting up 
I mean, my reorganizing my shelf video, like, I had that, like, spiritual awakening of, like, I need to s calm down with the albums. I'm, like, running out of space, so, yeah. I should make a New Year's resolution video, too. Yeah, I keep mentioning it. Subscribe to my second channel for these vid extra videos. Hee hee hee. Exclusive content. Wait, like, again, this is all from one album, because, like, I bought the album and, like, the platform versions. So, yeah, lots of extras. And it's, like, so thick. All right, I swear we're nearly approaching the end. This is just another, like, miscellaneous um, girl group thing. So we have, like, some lunar cards, some wiki makers. I just love adding R's to, like, random words to make them sound, like, Australian or something. Is that even Australian? I don't know. Some dream catcher -er. <laughs> All right, then we have my twice like solo slash unit endeavor uh collect book because uh nyan had her solo and then apparently there's a there's a misamo unit coming this year supposedly so that can go in here as well but yeah i have all the nyan cards because i loved her solo debut and all of the cards are like different outfits and vibes which i love love a good variety so i had to get all of them you know thankfully it wasn't too difficult and just like a random POV. <laughs> right, there's plenty of extra space for the Misamo. All right, and then this is my Sonia Shida or Girls' Generation collect book. These are just like things from like Girls' Generation albums or like solo albums and stuff. So we have like Taeyeon solo stuff because she's like one of my voices, but I love all of the Sonia Shida girlies. They, they're another one of like my childhood staple artists. So like, Obviously, I grew up with them, you know. Oh, I didn't even know these pages were stuck together until now. Oh my god, I hate it when a collect book does that. Yeah, like I bought, there was like a moment where I bought a lot of like older Sonia Shida albums, so yeah. And then we have like the Little Touch Kino set. And like some step back stuff. And then deep cards and then these cards alrighty and then we have my Yena collect book because like I do collect her solo albums because I really like her music and her concepts are really cute she is having a comeback so I'm excited for that it's like a definitely like a different concept than she usually has done for the first two so I'm excited to see but look at her photo cards though they're so like colorful and pretty love them Again, I need to stop doing that. Putting stickers away. Yeah, that's my Yenna. Isn't this, like, collect book kind of perfect for a concept? Alright, so now I just have this, like, crate of, like, random <laughs> collect books. So, like, these are, like, the skinnier ones. You can see these are very, very small collect books for, like, very, very small collections. Like, this one, for example, we have Chang'a. Um, I kind of like this, like, little thingy closure. But, yeah, like, I collect, like... I don't collect all of her solo albums. Well, she is a solo, so like I don't collect all of her albums. Like I think I started from uh what was it? Snapping Flourishing. So but we have like Flourishing and Play slash Stay Tonight. Uh Quarencia. And then I just recently randomly bought her Killing Me um photo I mean album, so I have that. And then also Bear and Rare, since I bought her signed album. So yeah, I think, like, maybe if she has, like, more signed albums, I'll, like, buy those too. But yeah, like, I, I've been liking Chunga for a really long time, so, like, I support her. Alright, this one is, like, my shiny slash, like, super M, kind of. Because, like, again, shiny is also another group I, like, grew up listening to. So, yeah, we have, like, some shiny cards here and there. Like, I bought, like, Key's Gasoline album. And, like, since Tenmin is in Super M, I just put his car some of his cards in here. And like these group cards since i have nowhere else to put them but like if super since super i'm having a comeback i might put them in their own collect book since i'll go i'm gonna have extras so yeah i love collecting collect books clearly right, and then this was that like male soloist collect book like because i don't really collect like soloists you know but since i have a lot of peco cards like i had to separate that yeah because it's just like soloist stuff you know like wano we have like some like 
Got Seven Soul stuff. My Bobby cards. Yeah, pretty much them. Just random, like only one of. Re Rie photo cards. Okay. Oh my God, we are so close to the end. Uh, because if you guys remember, I used to collect Got Seven, and I sold like a majority of my collection and i kept their albums but like uh i kept some of the cards as well so i put them in this little chromey little is this even a collect book it's like a different kind but yeah again attachment is issues so yeah i used to collect jv and jin young you guys have seen these cards before if you're like not new to my channel so and because i set up for this Coincidentally, they were both in JJ Projects, so yeah. The last um, thing in this entire video is this bigger collect book that I got from the DKZ like summer kit thing. Um, it was perfect for my extra DKZ cards that I have, so I just decided to put them in here. I typically don't like these like two page collect books. I like the one page ones for some reason, but I mean, I have a lot of extra DKZ cards, so. Might as well use it for this, you know? Yeah, second is my second bias, if you can't tell. And these are just like extra ones. Alrighty, oh my god. We just actually hit two hours of filming. Holy crap. I don't know how long this video is going to be even, but oh my god, that was the end. I guess I'll end it with my hand because I want to talk a little, but I mean, most of you guys are going to click out now. But anyways, that was my entire photo card collection update of the end of 2022. Holy crap. That was insane. Like, I just can't believe like my collection just keeps growing or changing significantly like just not even every year like, which is like enough like every six months like that's insane but then again like i'm a pretty insane collector and irresponsible <laughs> spender so i guess that kind of makes sense you know i just make sporadic decisions but yeah anyways thank you guys so so much for watching if you watched the entire thing like i have major respect for you you a real one once again thank you um or even just like watching it in general if you're even watching this outro like thank you so much um, this has been like, I already said all my mushy things in my previous video because that was my last video of the year, but I guess I just want to say again, like, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I really can't wait for this year, you know? Last year was like a pretty crazy year, you know? But yeah, like, we just experienced so much growth and we're continuing to experience so much growth on this channel and it's just so insane, like, that I wake up and like see this, you know? Like, I honestly just feel really blessed. Like, oh my god, I, I know some of you guys are like, cringing at this but like I honestly like you know I actually mean it you know can't believe like this is like my life now and just this channel constantly growing and you guys just you know discovering my channel or like sticking around to like my collection journey and like genuinely enjoying my videos like taking the time and effort to like support me in any way is just like insane to me because like I'm just me you know I'm just like the most boring ass normal person on this earth with 8 billion people but like Oh my god, like, what am I even saying right now? This isn't some, like, United Nations speech or anything, but I guess I just really wanted to express my gratitude again. So, yeah, thank you guys so much. I think we recently re reached, like, 76k subs. Like, bruh, we are on the road to 100k, you know? So, yeah, anyways, uh, like I said, uh, in case you missed it, like, if you have any questions on my collection or anything, like, leave them down below. I guess it's better to leave them now, because, like, I don't really read all my comments anymore. Uh, like after like a while so if you like watch this video right now and you leave a comment like five months later I might not see it so sorry but maybe someone else will respond to you but again all my uh supplies well like a majority of them are in the description they're linked in the card um again those are like affiliate links but yeah um all my socials are down below I have my second channel again if you want more content or if you're annoyed by me just click off and have a nice day um, I know my collection's pretty insane, but I'm an insane person and I like it this way. So yeah, I'm a very maximalist person if you can't tell. 
But yeah, anyways, I can't wait for this new year. Can't wait for kicking off this new year already. It's insane. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos like this. And yeah, love you guys all so much. Thank you again. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I gotta take the thumbnail picture now, but yeah. Bye. Oh my god, it's 2 a.m. Okay, bye. Good night. <laughs>